last night wasn't all deadly serious. One of the other objectives for the president last night, of course, this possibly the top line objective, which everyone I'm talking to says he met, is to prove that he was fit for a second term. I know it may not look like it, but I've been around a while. <laughs> when you get to be my age, certain things become clearer than ever. Evan, I want to start with you only because you've spent so much time kind of profiling the president. What did you see from him last night? He clearly was basking in the moment, um, and he came uh, to do a task. It seems like he executed on it. Yeah, I think from the moment he left the White House, you saw he had a little skip in his step. He got <laughs> his way over there to the chamber. First thing he did is he says hello to everybody on two feet. In including the Congressman Dingell. Including <laughs> Congressman Dingell. You know, look, he is, he draws energy from a room like that. Um, he sort of gained some speed over the course of the evening, gave a long speech, gave it well, and stayed longer probably than anybody uh, expected him to. Uh, look, the bar, as we know last night, was to say to Americans, I can do this. I've got the vigor. I've got the precision. And look, there are flubs along the way. That's inevitable. Um, but this is about giving. There were a lot of Americans who weren't sure what they were going to see last night. And I think a lot of people came out of there feeling reassured. Sarah Longwell, you've talked to a lot of uh, Republican voters uh, and, and voters in general about what they uh, expect from President Biden. And we were talking yesterday about how they had set the bar incredibly low. Um, what is your view of how he performed last night and how it's going to be received by some of these voters? Uh, well, you can tell how well he did by how annoyed Republicans are this morning <laughs> and last night. Like, you could just see how upset they were. Uh, and I think, look, for a lot of voters, they think the stakes are incredibly high. And I think the fear has been that Joe Biden can't hit, you know, can't manage where the stakes are, like isn't good enough to to take us through this moment. And last night, what he said was for the Democratic base, but how he said it was for swing voters who needed to see that this guy was all there, that he could do the job. And I, I told you yesterday when I was on the show, the Republicans have made a mistake because they set the bar at dementia. Hmm. And that if, look, if, if that's what dementia is, I hope that's uh, how I have dementia when I'm older, because he was on his game, the energy, and he did the thing that I think Joe Biden is particularly good at, where he sparred with the Republicans. He, he somehow managed to have it be incredibly political. He managed to be going right at Republicans, but often was also, like, joking with them, smiling at them, egging them on a little bit. And it gave this balance to the speech that I think just worked really well for him, and it was offense. It was offense. He's been needing this shift, changed the tone, and I think he nailed it. 